have I got something special today. This is, let me get the lock over. This is a Frederick Remington commemorative revolver. These pistols are made in the 1990s to commemorate Sir Frederick Remington, a American artist who almost exclusively dealt with American expansion and cowboys, Western, you know, art, Native American braves. And it is a gorgeous pistol. As you can see, there is a gold plated front sight. Gold playing down the front barrel, gold plated trigger guard, front strap, and all the artwork on site and the hammer. Let me have this try to focus in here. And we have some of his artwork and Sir Frederick Remington himself. This is a Pieta 1860 Army. Get this to focus again. 1860 Army steel frame with a beautiful dark bluing. That's almost like a not not like a purplish, but like a dark like black blue that I just think looks gorgeous. These were done in the 90s. I think I already said that. Uh, these were done in the 90s as a commemorative piece. There was a thousand made. This one, let me get this out here, is number 518, which makes it a Pieta revolver. These were done uh, by two companies, Uberti and Pieta in Italy. Uh, the Ubertis are a little more sought after just because Uberti's generally a better company, and uh, the Pieta ones again. I mean, the Pieta ones will go for around three, you know, two to three thousand dollars, depending on where you uh, look for them. This one I picked up from a uh, uh, at a gun shop from a person whose father. Um, what I was told, the father had passed, and the son was just selling all his guns. I picked this handgun up for about $700, which is really, really low for what I see these go for. I've seen one or two go for around the, you know, six, $700 range, but it was just the pistol. It wasn't the display case and the pistol had been fired. This is a unfired handgun. Um, these things did come with cuts for a shoulder stock. So you have your indent here, your raised, um, your raised pin and a uh, divot in the back of your grip. So you, your shoulder stock can clip on and then screw down. Here, let me get a close up on that plaque again. And I mean, the case itself is beautiful. I I kind of don't like the um, blue fabric they ca fabric they came with. It's kind of I don't know that kind of gross nineties like there. I would have loved if this was maybe in red or like a uh, army green or something like or not an army but like kind of like a golf like a master's jacket green I think would have been a lot better than this kind of like baby blue they they decided to go with um I may we may build another box for it just so I don't ruin the original but I could have something you know nicer to display the pistol in Maybe have something like do it in the red and get another plaque made at a trophy shop. And do like a plaque and then here do um, like brass but then gold painted. Um, like one of his big cowboy murals and then the pistol and then get like a brand new bullet mold and stuff. So, so kind of like how you would get a package set even though I wouldn't be firing this one. Um, the box itself, the outside, it looks gorgeous. If they didn't go with that blue, it would have been awesome. Has one of these classic style one pin keys. 
it just goes in and locks it up so you can't open it. The thing is, is these were really made to sit on a shelf or sit on an angle because if you turn the case upside down or sideways, there's just enough room for the pistol to get up and move around, which really sucks because that kind of defeats the purpose of having all indented because when it's closed, there's just enough for it to get up and like bounce around. So sometimes it will be like down here when I open it when I came back from the shooting range when I where I bought it. Um, let's get a look. flip it around here. Get more images of that bluing. Or uh, close-ups of that bluing. And I am getting uh, some fingers, uh, fingerprint smudges on it. Which I'll, I'll go back over with a tissue and some white gloves and clean it all over. I just didn't want to put the white gloves on for the video. But yeah, for the price I paid, a little under $700 instead of the, you know, ex, um, the like super high, like $3,000 $3, price mark. I am very happy with this old school revolver. And because it's black powder and I live in the United States... Zero paperwork. I got to just walk away with this handgun. I do live in California, but this thing's about as regulated as a pair of boots or a switchblade. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys.